Welcome! In this video, I will share a few useful and hidden tricks and tips on an iPhone. So, let's begin! So, the first tip is how to quickly get rid of water that has been trapped in your speaker or, or should I say in your smartphone speakers. If you have dropped your uh, iPhone into the water or it just has gotten drowned in some way. Uh, generally speaking, iPhones nowadays have a pretty decent uh, water resistance or I can actually say that it's not pretty decent, it's, it is actually good. But I guess even despite of this uh, high water resistance standard, uh, there might be occurrences when the uh, water get trapped in the speakers. So in this situation, what you want to do is to open whatever web browser you prefer using, then go into wateroutofspeaker.com website. And here you have two sounds, sound one and sound two respectively, uh, which you can choose between and will play any or both of them if you want of course so as you can see from here the first sound should be played for four minutes and the second sound should be played for eight minutes so just uh, crank your volume all the way up set your iphone uh, sound to its uh, maximum volume or maximally allowed sound volume and well once again either play sound one for four minutes or sound two for eight Now I will also quickly show how you can close all tabs at the same time using one single action in Safari web browser. So instead of opening the list of active tabs and well, closing them one by one, especially if you have many uh, tabs active, unlike me, you can close all of them just by pressing and holding at the done button here and then tap at the close all tabs or you can just even from here hold this button or this icon and well, you'll get the same close all tabs option. So just tap on it, confirm. Uh, well, then here, if you want to, you can also set up the automatically closed tabs uh, shortcut here, but I will not do that now. And as you will see, all tabs, but the one that has been opened or the one that I, I was at were successfully closed. So now I will show how you can lock any app you have installed with a password. So first, open the shortcuts application. Then here at the top right corner of your display, hit the create button. Now, uh, well, name your shortcut to be the name of the app you would like to lock. In my case, I'll go with Photos. Uh, now hit the add action button. Look for ask input command or script, edit, then ask for number. Here, uh, type the text that the uh, entering password entering form will contain. I will just go with enter password. So the if somebody uh, will use my phone, they will know what this uh, prompt is asking them to do. Or just to serve as the reminder for myself as well. So now ask for number with enter password, done. Then go into search apps and actions again. Go into if, then add the if script. Then if provided input, in the condition, select the S option and then input the number or the password that you would like to set. I'll go with, uh, well, one, two, three, four, <laughs> the easiest and most simple password I can come up with. And then uh, once again, save this script and add the open app action. Drag it to be right under provided input command and select what app, well, you would like to lock. I'll go with photos. Uh, this otherwise condition you can 
uh, delete and that'll be it. All that is left to do is to save your shortcut and add it to home screen. And well, in order to add it to your home screen, press at this arrow here, then well, tap at the add to home screen option. Now, once again, name your shortcut as an app you would like to launch. Then you can select a custom picture for this app icon to have, or I think you should be able to find the default photos app icon here, maybe. I'll go with this icon, for example. But once again, you can just take a screenshot of your uh, gallery, I mean of your uh, photos app or any other app you would like to lock, and then simply select it in this menu here by uh, going for the choose photo option and will upload it from your gallery. So now add. And now I have the shortcut right over here. And if I were to open it, it will request for me to enter the password. One, two, three, four. And once I uh, input my password correctly, the gallery gets launched. Let's also see what happens if I enter the incorrect password. As you can see, nothing happens. So for this tip, that'll be it. Now I will also show how you can replace the Siri default voice with your own voice. And well, just train it uh, to learn your voice and use it in the, uh, well, as the preferred voice assistant voice. Too many voices here happening anyway. In order to do that, you'll need to launch settings. Then here enter the accessibility category. Next, open the personal voice section. Create a personal voice. Input your screen lock password if you have one. Or well, definitely have one. Uh, then get ready to record. Name your voice as you want. I'll name it me, <laughs> for example. And now all that you gotta do, or I mean before that, let's check the sound quality. I'll bring the iPhone's microphone closer to my mouth, so the uh, recordings will have better quality. I am creating a personal voice with my iPhone. So now once the test recording is complete, you can start training, well, or I mean start uh, training the Siri to learn your voice. So let's continue. And as you can see, you'll need to read 150 phrases for the Siri to have sufficient material to build your voice on. So I will obviously not show you all 150 phrases. I will just record how I uh, say a few of them and then we'll provide you with the result and leave the uh, result for you to judge if the voice that Siri has generated out of mine is any good. In the field of chemical physics, Tommy was a pioneer. Finding a parking spot in the city can be difficult. Are you on your way? And so on in order, unfortunately you cannot like step, uh, stop at 10 or 20. Uh, phrases and to uh, ask it to build your voice from there, you will need to read all of them, all 150 phrases to be exact. So let me quickly do that and get back to you. So I have finished in recording and reading all those phrases out loud. So that's the next window you should see. Prepare your personal voice, make sure that your iPhone is charged and simply lock it and wait until you receive the notification that uh, the voice is created. Here it tells me that preparing 0% charge iPhone to continue. So I will quickly do that and get back to you. So guys, the uh, voice training procedure has been finished. It took my iPhone about 10 to 11 hours to complete this process. So keep in mind that uh, training the language model using your voice might take a while. Now, in order to use it, enter the accessibility category of settings once again, and above the personal voice section, you'll find the live speech. So here, enable it, and now you can, well, hear your voice. Just make sure to select your voice here among the available options. So select personal voice. And now, 
uh, triple click the side button. Let me write something. And now I will uh, feed this phrase to my, uh, or should I rather say to the language model that was trained on my speech. And you decide if it well, is any similar to my actual voice. Hey guys, do you think it sounds like my actual voice? If you ask me, it sounds pretty fairly similar. So this feature will be really useful for individuals who are about to lose their speech if and if they would like to preserve it and use it in the future to communicate with people the way Apple intended while developing this particular feature. So yep, as far as this tip or feature goes, that'll be it. And last tip that I've planned to share in this video is that you can use your iPhone as a level tool or, you know, the ruler that uh, construction workers use to uh, check whether some surface is even or not. In order to access this tool on your iPhone, simply look for the measure app. Here it is. Or ruler app. Then simply switch it to the level mode. And here you have it. So as you can see, once we uh, increase the bank angle, the level is very bad. But if I try to make it somewhat straight, maybe I will be able to catch the perfect level. Yep. And once the zero digit as well as the green uh, background appears, that means that in this position, your surface is leveled. And well, that'll be it. Do not hesitate to, well, leave a like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.